Good morning everybody. I welcome you all back. Today I am starting the plant biotechnology and the topic in that is the plant tissue culture. I already uploaded one uh, video on this. So before uh, starting biotechnology, you all have to see that video. That is the basic techniques. So I, I already told you last time also in UGC, we have 90% question from plant biotechnology and molecular biology. So that is why I am just blending it down. One topic from molecular biology and one topic from plant biotechnology. Right? So uh, today I will start and tomorrow I will do the somatic embryogenesis. And then I move down to the uh, molecular biology. Right? Immunology, you must have all did it. Don't see it is MSc irrespective of class. Do it. The time you get knowledge, it matters. If you get knowledge today, particularly BSc 1 and BSc 2, they are so much at right stage to get the knowledge for the just to clearance of MSc, uh, IS. Other MSc classes, they are also in league. They have to work hard. So it is not matter of time, it is a matter of knowledge you will get. Don't consider that you are in BSc 1 or 2. Just grab the knowledge you are getting. And just prepare you for the bingo, that is IS. Other exams will go through easily. Right? So today I am uh, starting the plant biotechnology. And uh, before that I will take some introduction part of that. And then I take the nutrient media. Stay indoors, stay safe. Bye bye. Good morning everybody. I welcome you all back for our next topic that is plant biotechnology. So before starting I will have an introduction of plant biotechnology. Biotechnology is the term which is coined by Karl Reiki 1970. It is Hungarian in his book that is biotechnology of meat, fat, milk production and in an agriculture large scale form. Father of plant tissue culture is Gottlieb Haberlander, this is G. Haberlander 1902. And major transgenic research institute are Bose Institute of Kolkata, Central Rice Institute, Katak, CPRI, we say. And we are in IFS, this question will come. These expand these one. National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow. And then we know IARI, that is Agriculture Research Institute, uh, Indian Agriculture Research Institute, Delhi. So besides that, uh, this is CIMEP, that is Central Institute of Medicine and, and Aromatic Plants. And Lucknow, I went this very nice place. Then ICGEB, International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, and IIB, that is International Institute of Biotechnology. So, natural genetic engineer, which do take the genes from one plant to another, is Agrobacterium tumefaciens. And the Morgan coined the term cellular totipotency. Totipotency is the ability of each cell to form complete form, process, uh, plant through two processes that is differentiation and de-differentiation and uh, to easy uh, transport of these uh, plants tissue culture plants we have a synthetic seeds or artificial seeds or encapsulated seeds and its concept is given by T. Murashige. The technique to raise virus free plants it is marriage stem culture or stem cul shoot tip pex culture which is studied by G. Moral 1960 in the orchids that is Symbidium. So now we are moving to the uh, topic that is plant tissue culture. So to explain what is plant tissue culture, I just tell you that is this is cell. It is basic fundamental unit of life and group of cells is called tissue and the tissue is inoculated on the medium that is a test tube with having a outer uh, plugs for gaseous exchange. And this is MS medium, which I'm taking right after some time. And then inoculation of this uh, tissue, either in form of leaf, root, stem it is called tissue culture so plant tissue culture uh, is an integrated process in the field of applied biotechnology where removal of tissue from plant and the subsequent incubation of media so the first step we have is the media and the media are of two types natural media coconut water tomato and yeast extract first this natural media lack reproduci reproducibility due to the ill-defined composition because we don't know the composition of the media so second time when we set up a experiment, the, con the composition is different, right? The main disadvantage in comparison to the 
natural media the artificial media is mostly widely used media is murashige and skoog 1962 which also call ms medium and uh, this uh, nutrient media uh, having a plant tissue culture uh, culture medium is an artificial complex network of essential nutrients and these essential nutrients we have the uh, two that is macro and micro then organic supplements and carbon source first is the inorganic nutrients the inorganic nutrients are required for the normal growth of plants they are divided into the macro and micro depending upon the basis of concentration the nutrients are required in the concentration more than 0.5 millimolar per liter that is called macro it includes nitrogen potassium phosphorus calcium magnesium and sulfur so now we are starting the composition of ms medium the first we have the macro that is potassium nitrate 1900 mg per liter ammonium nitrate nh4 no3 1650 calcium chloride 440 calcium chloride dihydrate magnesium sulfate that is mgso4 7h2 370 and potassium dihydrogen phosphate that is 170 so when i was in your class i will also face same problem just to re how to remember so first we have to remember 170 and uh, this is in second position at 2 that is 370 and the plus of that is 540 but your brain will auto correct you that is 440 that is jor ka jhatka vire se lage 440 volts and then we have uh, around uh, approximately 1650 and when we plus it it will come to the 1950 so this is the way we used to remember the macro so then we have coming to the second that is the micronutrients so micronutrients are those which are required in less quantity that is less than 0.5 millimolar per liter and these include boron cobalt manganese molybdenum copper zinc iron right so uh, when we do the uh, micronutrients and the first is the magnesium sulfate mnso4 4h2o 22.3 boric acid h3bo3 6.2 zinc sulfate uh, 7h2o it is 8.6 and potassium added ki that is 0.83 and then we are coming to the sodium molybdate uh, 0.25 copper sulfate 5h2o it is 0.025 and cobalt chloride is again 0.05 the process is again the same first you say la, uh, last a 0.025 0.05 these are done so then one point we will get it is 25 0.25 so we, when we plus it come to be 0.75 but here we have 0.83 so it is very near your brain will auto correct when we drop point point here it come to 8.3 right so but auto correction will come 8.6 when we reverse it 8.6 to 6.8 So auto correction will come 6.2, and the last we have to remember is 22.3. I again told you 0.25, 0.25.25.83, 0.25, then 8.6, 6.2, and 22.3. Like that, 170, 370, 440, 1650, 1650, and 900. And I remember like this, and I hope you must also remember like this. Uh, first, help your brain out, and do uh, three times in 48 hours, and it will imprint over your all factory loops right so now we are coming to the next part that is in ms medium basically the iron is supplied in form of iron edta and this iron edta is disodium ethyl diamine tetraacetate and uh, that is sodium edta dot 2h2 37.3 ferrous sulfate fesf4 7h2 27.8 so now next part is the vitamins and uh, mayo inositol vitamins are essential components of nutrient medium and work as catalyst in growth and different cell differentiation right uh, in explant which are going under in vitro condition i already told you in vitro is in the in the glass means it is under the aseptic conditions the common vitamins which are used are uh, thymine hcl pyridoxine hcl and nicotinic acid Besides it, mayo inositol is added, and this mayo inositol is added is an important role in cell division, stimulating the plant growth at 100 milligram per liter. So now we are coming to the concentration mayo inositol. I already told you it is for the stimulating the plant growth and cell division. It is 100, and then nicotinic and pyridoxine they are 0.5, 0.5, and thymine 0.1, and the glycine is 2. So it is uh, easy to uh, remember. now we are coming to the carbohydrate source i already told you sucrose 20 grams per liter and sucrose is the carbohydrate source and agar agar is the gelling agent that is 9 gram per liter so sucrose when autoclave it breaks into the simple sugar so we will do later on when we do the autoclaving 
part right so now uh, besides this we have the plant growth regulator despite the fact that these plant growth regulators are not the part of the media but they are added at different times because if uh, you do uh, uh, rooting you have to add auxins if you do shooting we have to add cytokines if you do require organogenesis morphogen you do add both the in equal concentration and that is why auxin cytokines and gibberellin gibberellin is for the internodal growth so medium ph was adjusted at 5.8 it is before prior to adding agar agar or heating uh, by adding if it is acidic add nuh if it is basic it is add one and one normal hcl so this is the uh, basic uh, process i already told you and uh, now we are coming to the next part that is the uh, media preparation the preparation of ms media each time is very time consuming so in order to save time we have to make uh, stock solutions and put it in the fridge so stock solution macro we can di uh, uh, directly add uh, fresh whereas stock solution of micronutrients and vitamins are prepared so first is the preparation of stock solution of micro so uh, boric acid uh, 6.2 and every concentration i do 0.25 0.25 again uh, 0 0.25 0.025 then 0.25 plus is 75.83 so 8.6 then 6.2 then 22.3 and i make it 10 times and in 500 ml so the concentration is 200 times right that is 62 22 36 860 83 25 2.5 and 2.5 so this is how i made the uh, stock solution to save the time and uh, second stock solution i made is vitamins here vitamins i told you nicotinic acid pyridoxine excel thiamine hcl glycine 0 0.550 0 0.550 0 0.110 and 2 is uh, that is uh, uh, sorry uh, glycine uh, 2 we get the uh, then uh, 20 so uh, it is 10 times i i, I so so then uh, we have uh, uh, mayonnaise left and that in acetol we have put directly as a fresh no need to make a solution so uh, then we have the made the iron stock solution and here the iron uh, sodium irritate is taken 3.73 grams of irritate in 250 ml distilled water and solution 1 and ferrous sulfate 7 h 2.78 grams of ferrous sulfate in 250 ml distilled water that is solution 2 dissolve both solutions slowly with each other so now we have the three stock solution we put it in the fridge when we have to make the medium so we can use it so now the last part we are coming to the media preparation so question will come that uh, mostly come composition of nutrient media and media preparation take autoclave conical flask and add 500 ml distilled water in it now put conical flask on heater to make uh, a light lukewarm uh, light warm now add uh, weighed my macronutrients which I add fresh in a sequence into the flask and stir the flask after each addition don't let it clump if you don't uh, uh, stir the flask a clumping will occur so after macronutrients are added now add 5 ml each of micronutrient vitamin stock solution to the flask right so uh, after uh, that uh, you have to either you have to add uh, uh, sodium and EDTA directly or you can take the uh, stock solution right so uh, mostly i my uh, myself directly added that is 37.3 and 27.8 right so after uh, complete mixing of all solutions sucrose 20 gram is added and now the final volume is made one liter the pH of uh, medium is adjusted to 5.8. Here also we added the uh, EDTA directly, not the stocks. But I told you how to make the stocks, right? The pH I already told you it is added 5. Point, made 5.8 either uh, by adding drop points, while stirring uh, by adding one normal HCl or KOH depending upon the acidic or basicity of the medium. So the medium uh, then is uh, uh, poured in the culture tube, flask and other containers like uh, jars also. Culture vessels are plugged with cotton wool, I already told you, right, we did, this, these are the cotton wool, these are uh, basically for the exchange of gases and does not allow the co contaminations, right. And this uh, cotton wool wrapped in muslin cloth, this will allow the gases exchange but inhibit the microbial contamination. The culture vessels are autoclave to 120 degree centigrade, 1.06 uh, 
kg per centimeter square for 15 to 20 minutes. So it temperature goes to 120 to 126 uh, degree centigrade and the culture medium is allowed to cool at room temperature and used for the culturing. As I already told you, we culture the, uh, if leaf, it is a leaf explant culture, if we add a seed, it is a seed culture and from the, the it from a callus, it is callus culture, so different callus, shoot tip is shoot tip culture which to raise the virus free plants, right? If root, it is a root culture. So if winter node, it is winter node culture. So a culturing depends upon the explant we are using. What are the explant? Explants are the uh, basically the tissue which is used to initiate the culture. So I again I, uh, explain you about the composition of media. So first uh, we have the macro 170. We can go from downward potassium dihydrogen uh, phosphate, then 370 magnesium sulfate plus 540 will come, but autocorrect 440 jorka jatka and calcium chloride uh, dihydrate then ammonium nitrate 1650 and potassium nitrate that is 1900. So now we are coming to uh, uh, micronutrients cobalt and copper sulphate they are 0 0.025 and one point will go sodium molybdate is 0.25 and the total of that is 0.75 but here we have 0.83 potassium iodide and then zinc sulphate uh, one point will come it will come 8.3 or uh, but autocorrect will come it will come 8.6 and then the reverse of 8.6 uh, it is 6.8 the boric acid is uh, 6.2 and then we have the uh, uh, magnesium sulfate large says 22.3 as I already told you we make the stocks but uh, mostly I am myself when I do the tissue culture because my PhD in the plant tissue culture so I did directly add the IDT I never made the stocks that is 37.3 and 27.8. Then we have come into the organic compounds, uh, inositol 100, uh, nicotinic acid 0 0.5, then uh, uh, we have uh, pyridoxine 0 0.5, thymine 0 0.1 and glycine 2. So uh, this is how we make and the carbohydrate uh, source is the sucrose 20 grams and the gelling agent agar agar that is 0 0.9 which comes from the red algae that is gelidium gracilaria, right? And uh, then uh, we have uh, basically the pH uh, which we add the 5.8, right? So um, uh, this I finishes and uh, before finishing I will tell you the few points, right? I have already uploaded one uh, uh, video and you can go and see. In that video I told you that we take one tube, test tube, right? And And that test tube, we just want to put medium MS and we put explant. So that test tube will form first these explant will produce PLBs and then will form platelet. And second process it will form callus, then PLB, then platelet. And this is called direct systematic emergencies and this is called indirect somatic emergencies plantlet is formed so every time we put explant plantlet will form when we put seed it is seedling form and seedling is heterozygous because of the fusion of male and female and uh, it is every time somaclonal variations are there but plantlet they are pure line they are homologous there is no somaclonal variation so as a tissue culturist we have to go with the explant culture not the seed culture because seed culture result in heterozygosity and variations Whereas plant culture, it is homozygosity and uh, pure line somaclones are not there and it results in the uh, basically uh, same alike plants that is pure line plants. So this uh, somatic emergencies, I am taking the next topic. So before I will start that topic, uh, you are supposed to go through that uh, video uh, so that you can understood that topic very well. And then I told you the meristem culture because sometimes the cultures are infected with the virus. So uh, we have to save that. So it is the shoot tip meristem is the point where the virus will not go because xylem vessels they will not reach up to that. And uh, we will do the meristem culture to get retrieve those plants. And hence the techniques to raise virus free plants is the meristem culture or we also called shoot tip a case culture like this this is plant and here it is dome like structure this is called shoot tip 
apex or meristem culture it is first uh, done by the g moral and uh, in 1960 in the orchids that orchid name is cymbidium cymbidium right so so this is a part of somatic embryogenesis i will do subsequent days uh maybe day after tomorrow it is synthetic seeds synthetic seeds uh, are the seeds which are like seeds but they are made synthetically we use here uh, two processes that is uh, two chemicals that is calcium chloride and sodium alginate and we know uh, calcium chloride uh, we have in medium also so uh, see 440 jor ka jhatka dheere lage and sodium alginate we get it from the brown algae so what will happen uh, sodium uh, this will form salt sodium chloride and uh, beads are formed that is of calcium alginate like these like these beads are formed and in between them is a protocom when it say so the calcium alginate is the outer covering that is called testa and here is the medium that is endosperm and this protocom act as a seed see this is the testa this is the medium ms and this is the plb protocol and this is called artificial seed and this concept is given by uh, uh, basically uh, t murushuge 1977 this is the extension of somatic embryogenesis which we are doing i think day after tomorrow tomorrow we are i am doing the somatic embryogenesis i am telling you that somatic embryogenesis of two types which uh, where the explant goes through the direct plb formation and plantlet is called direct somatic emergencies the somacron variations are least in direct but when there is it is a punctuated by callus there is a possibility of uh, break of spindle formation spindle and uh, it results in the somacron variations so uh, as a tissue culturist you are supposed to avoid the callus formation so idsc it is indirect somatic emergency should be avoided and this path is the best so please see that video so before that uh, tomorrow uh, uh, i am going the somatic embryogenesis very important topic never a paper will set up without that because after somatic embryogenesis i will take synthetic seeds then i will go to somacronal variations so there is no paper without these two topics so please uh, 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 and so these somatic seeds are important by competitive point of view so please go through that video and uh, be ready for the uh, tomorrow lecture so these are very important lectures for your uh, appearance in the competitive exams like ias ugc so uh, stay indoors stay safe and please do the thorough study thank you bye bye